what is length? Today, we are going to be talking all about length and how to compare the length of two different objects. Length, how long an object is from end to end. Let's look at this marker down below. We can see from end to end that this marker is 12 inches. The length of this marker is 12 inches. We get an accurate length when we line up the marker to the beginning of the ruler and to the end of the ruler. That gives us an accurate length. So what is comparing length? When we compare length, we look at the length of two objects to see which is longer and shorter. Let's take a look at these two objects down below. We have a ribbon and we have a balloon toy. When we compare length, we have to make sure the objects are lined up at the end point. There's an arrow pointing to the end point. We can see that the ribbon is longer and the balloon toy is shorter because they are lined up at the end point. Let's practice with some more objects. We have two pictures down below. Out of these two pictures, which of the objects are lined up at the end point correctly? That's right. The tractor and the train are both lined up at the end point. The stuffed snake and the ribbon are not lined up at the end point. Let's practice comparing length. Which of these objects is longer? The dinosaur or the hedgehog? That's right, the dinosaur is longer than the hedgehog. Can you say that with me? The dinosaur is longer than the hedgehog, nice. Now let's try this one. We have a plane and a motorcycle. Which one is longer? Great work, the plane is longer than the motorcycle. Say that with me. The plane is longer than the motorcycle. Awesome job. Let's try another one. Which of these stuffed snakes is longer? That's right. The green stuffed snake is longer than the blue. The green is longer than the blue. Nice work. Now let's try with shorter. Which of these objects is shorter, the bus or the car? Put on those thinking caps. That's right, the car is shorter than the bus. Say that with me. The car is shorter than the bus. Nice work. Let's look at another one. Which of these objects is shorter? Good job. The glue stick is shorter than the pencil. Say it with me. The glue stick is shorter than the pencil. Nice. Now we're going to look at taller and shorter. This is when we look at objects up and down instead of side to side to see their length. Let's give this one a try. The pencil is taller than the glue stick. The glue stick is shorter than the pencil. Nice. Now it's your turn to guess. Which of these is taller, the lollipop or the cube stick? Good job. The lollipop is taller than the cube stick. Say it with me. The lollipop is taller than the cube stick. Nice job. Now, which one of these is shorter? The mug is shorter than the water bottle. 
Say it with me. The mug is shorter than the water bottle. Nice. All right, now let's do our last one. Which is shorter, the candle or the toothbrush? These are actually the same length. One is not taller or shorter than the other. The candle and the toothbrush are the same length. Try that with me one more time. The candle and the toothbrush are the same length. Nice work. Now let's practice in the real world. Stand up next to your neighbor. The floor is your end point. Who is taller? Who is shorter? You have about one minute. When it's time to sit back down, you'll hear the words, let's review. Let's review. Length is how long an object is from end to end. When comparing length, we always line up the two objects at the end point. Nice job. Subscribe to Twinkle Teaching Resources USA. For more, it's easy with Twinkle videos.